I just want to introduce you guys to my new baby. This is Stanley. How cute is he? He's only two months and he is the sweetest baby I've ever met. I literally, I've had him for two days and I'm obsessed with him already. I love you. I love you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I was literally getting ready for work and I was like, I should just record this look. So this is what I came up with. But yeah, if you guys want to learn how I got this look, then keep watching. Mm -hmm. We are going to start by applying a little bit of the prolonged wear paint pot. And this is the soft ochre. <music> to set the entire eyelid, I'm going to be using this um, just plain matte beige color on my eyelid. And I'm just going to apply it all over. Okay, I'm going to start with this color right here, this burgundy color, and I'm using a little small pencil brush. I'm going to draw this and then go on the other side and do the same thing. Remember, it's not going to look nice at the beginning. It's just going to look a little bit messy, but it's okay. And now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and kind of brush this diffuse this around now I'm gonna take this orange color and I'm gonna mix it with this deeper orange and I'm gonna use that to connect both corners so we got Bentley about two days ago I mean we've been wanting a dog for the like for the past six months every time we went to that place I mean we liked a bunch of dogs, but we never fell in love with one. We were always like, oh, he's so cute, but we never actually felt like this is going to be our dog. So um, on Thursday, CJ, my boyfriend, he goes, we should go see dogs. And I'm like, we're not going to find anything. We never do. So what's the point? Um, and we had gotten to see dogs the day before. So I was just kind of like over it, like we're not going to find anything, I already know. So he's like, let's just go, whatever. So we ended up going and as soon as we walked in, I saw him and I swear I was like, like, I was like, he is so cute. And I mean, our big concern was that we didn't want a dog that was going to grow big because we don't have a house and we don't have a big yard or we don't have a yard. We live in a building. Um, so... You know, if you have a dog, I feel like a big dog, they need a big place to run. Even though the dog that I originally wanted was a golden retriever, not a golden retriever, a golden doodle, those big curly hair dogs. But those grow about like 40 to 50 pounds. But I, I always find those dogs like so adorable because they're like so curly and so cute. So then I walked in and then I see this curly hair baby and I was like, oh my God, he is so cute. And right away I thought that that was a golden doodle and I was like, oh my God, he's just going to get so big. So I knew that, you know, CJ was going to be like, no, he's going to get too big. So then, okay, and real quick, I'm going to be taking this um, shimmery burgundy color. And I'm going to use my finger and just place it in the middle. So right away, I knew that it was just going to be a, probably a golden doodle. So I was just like, whatever. And then we read on the description that it said 10 to 15 pounds. Oh, here he comes. Say hello. Oh, baby, I can't carry you. I'm going to do my makeup. You're so cute. So then as soon as we saw that, in the description that he only grew like 10 to 15 pounds i was like what the hell oh my god like that's not big you know like 10 15 pounds it's not big at all so then we tell the lady can we play with him so then she brings some and I, as soon as i touched this little fur baby i was like he has to come home with us like he was the sweetest thing ever okay real quick i am taking this lighter um light shimmery color and that's just gonna help the the center look brighter and even though i already knew that i wanted him to come home with us i still told uh cj like we should play with a different dog and if we still feel the same about this dog then 
he's gonna be the one. So then we asked the lady if he if we could play with a different dog, and it was this little black furry baby, like curly hair baby, and we were playing with him, and the whole time we were like, mm -mm, like we want the other one, and so we asked the lady to bring Bentley back, and it was like love at first sight. We both were just so in love with him, and. And we just knew we wanted him to come home with us. We just started the paperwork and, um, and then we brought him home. The first night that he slept here, he literally, I think he was just so tired from everything. And um, I, we bathed him, we, we gave him a bath and he knocked out like cold. And I honestly expected him to cry because, you know, he's a baby and... Um, I expected him to like wake up in the middle of the night and cry or whatever, but he didn't. He's just so sweet. I, I'm so in love with him and I'm so thankful that we found him. Okay, so now I'm applying a little bit of wing liner. I'm gonna be taking a wipey and cleaning the edges. For the inner corner, I'm going to be using this color right here. When we were trying to decide the name of Bentley, we were literally like freaking out. Well, not freaking out, but we were like, oh my god, like what should we name him? Like we had so many ideas, but um, I don't know, like we were just kind of like, we just wanted something like perfect for him and uh, we thought of Quincy, we thought of Blue, we thought of Bentley and i think those were the three top names that we wanted to name him and so we ended up liking bentley a lot better and and now that's his name now i'm just gonna be applying mascara and eyelashes in a bag now we are going to move on to the face um and we'll finish the eyes when the face is done and i'm gonna be using the fit me foundation by maybelline and i'm using the color Beige, sun beige. Fuck, I just realized I forgot to put primer. But it's alright. We'll survive. I'm gonna go in and blend everything out with my Morphe brush. For my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Concealer in the color Chestnut. I just realized I have to leave already. So I'm actually getting ready for, um, for work and I am running late. So I'm just going to stop talking and try to get ready as fast as I can. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Shape Tape by Tarte, and I'm using the color Medium. I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender to blend everything out. I'm going to take my Hello Flawless by Benefit to set the foundation. I'm sorry, the concealer. Bomb. To bring some color back to the face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Something chocolate, so weird, I think. I'm gonna be baking a little bit and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm gonna apply it. Okay, I'm gonna be taking this color right here and I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of set the entire bottom eyelash line what 
Now I'm going to be taking the orangey red color and I'm using a pencil brush to be very precisely. Right on top of that, I'm going to be going with this color, shimmery color, and I'm just going to add that to the bottom line so it looks a little bit, you know, like shiny. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara in my bottom lashes. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and dust all the powder. For blush, I'm going to be applying this one right here. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick. And to finish up the look, I'm going to be spraying my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish. All right, guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm. See, I'm the